the adolescent period is a transition from childhood to adulthood. Their emotions and their social skills are enhanced or manipulated, and they strive to either be better, be a part of society, and if not, their life turns into a frenzy. So for people who consider these life-changing experiences during adolescent years as stressful, wow. they are in constant turmoil. Uh, they are unable to control their emotions and they end up not coping very well. So they become um, a menace to their family and to their environment and they lose their temper. Uh, they get involved with alcohol and or drugs and they persistently seek self-destructive activities not knowing future consequences of stress in their health and in their demeanor so the purpose of this segment of my vlog is to reach out to the adolescent people out there that um, there are things that you can do to uh, get out of um, the stressful situation my vlog today is to provide one therapy that adolescents can do or what family can help them do to cope with stress, especially during this pandemic, which I do myself as well. We found that something and fall in love. Just one, this one thing. Good day, my beautiful people, and to my combines all over the world. Uh, marhaban, salam alaikum, namaste. Thank you for those who is here in this uh, channel and who will be watching this as well. Ultimately, if this is your very first time here, my goals for starting this YouTube channel is to share every bit of my knowledge relating to balancing life, work, and family. Uh, I'm not expert on this, but some of my knowledge I obtained came from life experiences and the Dalai Lama, of course, and the Sadhguru, and to all my mentors throughout my career and my life. So life is not all about the physical aspects of life, but what makes it balanced is how you want it to be. So most of what I have presented so far um, in all my in, in all my vlogs is about travel, which helps me look at the whole world and their different cultures, helping as much as I can. Uh, but I also make sure that I take care of myself as well. So uh, most of you already know about the Bedouin really fun. Um, I started to temporarily help the Bedouins and both the people and the stray animals. I was there in Petra in December and the money that I was able to give them um, was enough for a one month's worth of food uh, and vaccinations and um, actually spaying and um, the, uh, some of the dogs uh, that were strays. And also some of the money also went to uh, Gaza camp. And some of the children there had, um, have not had a, uh, they don't have they didn't have they don't have any money to buy batteries for their hearing aids since the pandemic um, because there used to be an organization that actually goes there but uh, the government actually stopped any organizations from um, volunteering there so but I was able to give some of the money there as well and I'm still collecting um, I will include the um, website for the GoFundMe uh, down below and no need to give tremendous amount of donation one dollar can help um, but every dollar counts so honestly i have not collected much since the pandemic because i totally understand that the pandemic had hit so many um, people which everyone is uh, very careful with their money so but i will do whatever i can whatever limitations i might have but will do so um, i'll try my very best to um continue to help them until the pandemic is over so anyway then um i also um made videos on covid19 and the election finally over thank goodness and in this segment because i am a pediatric nurse practitioner <clears throat> i love to touch base on complementary therapies in healthcare and love my population of children I wanted to discuss meditation as one of the complementary therapies to combat adolescent stress instead of prescribing medication. So prescription medicine on children is a quick fix, which is totally 
um, acceptable. A lot of people do um, prefer the conventional way of uh, treating illnesses, but the complementary therapies can enhance or um, take over the conventional medicine. But we can do that, um, but we also could discuss other therapies when we do intervene um, with their therapy towards the very end of the clinic visit. So obviously, there are many complementary therapies out there, uh, yoga, her herbal supplements like herbs, medicine, acupuncture, and a lot more. And today I will discuss uh, meditation to possibly combat adolescent stress. And it, I do this myself, especially during a pandemic when um, everyone is staying um, at least six feet away or two meters away. Today, the segment is on meditation, uh, on balancing life, and this is only for educational or informational purposes only. The uh, adolescent period is anxiety-provoking, very stressful. When they're, when they're in school, they want to strive to succeed. They want to be social, so they want to make friends, but they want to make sure they belong. And in their family, there is this constant battle for independence, and they struggle to meet the demands of their parents. Uh, they are also put in a situation where they get pressured to do something they don't want to do, but they do it anyway because they want to be accepted. Uh, another stressful situation in the adolescent period is undergoing puberty, uh, which is very stressful for them due to physical and physiological changes. So about the current situation, about 80 to 85 percent of people um, worldwide have relied on alcohol and or drugs. Um, because human beings crave and live on like instant gratification. They want now, now, now. They consume chemically made substances. Um, according to Sadhguru, it is a crime against humanity. And as a result, there is an imbalance of mind and body causing all this stress. And this is very common among the teenagers. So stress is a big risk factor for teenagers to delve in. What's going on right now? So I believe that this nation is on the brink of a nervous breakdown. Stress um, used to be a, an epidemic, now that given the pandemic, um, the effect is now disastrous for the livelihood and economy of the entire world. There are approximately 70 to 80 percent of all the diseases in the world is related to stress. And because of this constant stress in your body, uh, the affecting the proper breakdown, proper usage, and proper metabolism of the body. So adolescent stress leading to negative results is uh, going up. And in 2017, students that are attending college reported higher stress levels and was not able to cope with very well leading to suicide. There are 4 million adolescent suicide worldwide, according to the World Health Organization. Suicide is the second or third cause of adolescent death. In India, there was 37.8% of adolescent suicide for the year 2006. Between 2007 and 2009, there were 53.5% Chinese teenagers committed suicide. 27.3% were Indians, and there were 13.5% Malaysian teenagers. So life then needs to be enhanced through complementary therapies, yoga, acupuncture, hypnosis, manipulation, homeopathy, massage, energy healing, and many more can ease to distress. During the pandemic, we need to observe our distance, so meditation is one of the therapies that can achieve balance both in mind and body. Meditation, um, what it means is it allows intelligence and thoughts to be generated from within the inner self by freeing the mind and connect the mind with the body. During stress, the oxygen free radicals um, come out so they emerge in the body. This means that the stress is considered a protective mechanism, but eventually creates this trauma in the body affecting the subconscious mind in the nervous system. It causes an inflammatory response um, lowering the immune system to fight infections when the cortisol and the adrenaline uh, levels are in constant demand. So the inflammation then is the key to illness, eventually becomes chronic. Stress is recorded in the brain subconsciously and it creates this havoc when exposed to that situation 
um, it's the overproduction of stress hormones and suppression of the immune system. The definition of adolescent stress is for teenagers, their hippocampus, their amygdala, so the brain, their hippocampus, their amygdala, and their prefrontal cortex are very sensitive to stress because they are still developing during this time. So they are prone to not control their stress and handle stress very well. So description of the meditation is it is drawing consciousness or alertness of the mind by breathing, focusing, performing mantras and prayers and or controlling one's thoughts, becoming aware of thoughts and focusing the attention on the breath improves the functioning of the prefrontal cortex in the brain, allowing balance. And there are several types of of meditation, but the major ones are the mindfulness and transcendental. Mindfulness focuses on the present moment and to be stress-free. The transcendental one is an analytical one. The fundamental methods and techniques of meditation for mindfulness is you're drawing the person within and be at the moment. Um, it's the active awareness, cultivation of the mind to focus attention, no phones, no Facebook, no social media. The transcendental meditation is drawing a person within using the outside influence like music or mantra, which is the passive awareness, and both results in lowering the blood pressure, heart rate, and oxygen metabolism, and meditation is a stress reliever. Mindfulness meditation, um, the mindfulness-based stress reduction initially adapted from the Eastern mindfulness practice to treat chronic pain patients has been used. Hypnotherapy meditation also regresses from the past, and it can be useful in a clinic for adolescents undergoing major stress caused by past events. And consider the current situation and exploring within in order to resolve that problem. So scanning of the body, it achieves moderate cortisol level, lowering blood pressure, decreases pain, especially chronic pain. Be in the moment. This way one gets clarity as to why a person is living in or existing. No social media at this time. The transcendental uh, meditation is the body, mind, and soul are reunited through yoga and meditation by aligning the body with the world. So imagine everything in this world is uh, intertwined from non-living things to living things. And when a person is in a state of meditative bliss, the mind is in its neutral state and have a strong desire to maintain balance. I wanted to show you a scholarly article written by Schur um, regarding meditation. I have to actually include this in this segment um, where they studied mindfulness meditation on stress experienced by college students and they found that they're stressed because they don't have enough time, no time for other activities, no time to rest, and everything is very anxiety provoking. They conducted a randomized control trial on the effects of what mindfulness meditation is on decreasing stress. And their idea is to portray openness to experience, emotional intelligence, self-esteem, optimism, positive effect, life satisfaction, grace, vitality, self-actualization, autonomy, competence and fulfillment. They took 74 randomly assigned undergraduate students uh, from a university uh, for their mindfulness group, both for active control and a no treatment control group. So they had two phases of the study. 26 were in the study and the other 24 completed the post group assessment. There were 13 people in the mindfulness meditation group and the active control consists of 13 that are interacting with a dog during a group study break like the animal assisted therapy and the dog therapy is shown to increase the uh, beta B endorphins, oxytocin, prolactin, all these chemical uh, things in your brain and the dopamine as well as reduction in cortisol. And then the second phase had 48 students and 45 of them completed the post-group assessment. Uh, 14 were in the mindfulness meditation group, 12 were in the dog therapy group, and there were 22 people that were in the no treatment group. So they completed a four weekly session in a week for one hour. So they noticed that there was a significant less dysphoric effect on the intervention group. 
Um, after the sessions, they were provided a cognitive stressor challenge called, um, it's all these questionnaires that I will include at the end of this uh, vlog, which is the Wechsler Adult Intelligence Scale. Um, heart rate monitored using an EKG called heart rate variability was also measured. It showed fluctuations on the monitor regulating stress response. And they noted that people on the mindfulness group exhibited a more adaptive stress response compared to the ones with dog therapy and then no treatment at all. The other challenge questionnaires were also given to them, which I will also include at the end of the vlog. It's called Spielberg's State Trait Anxiety Invent Inventory, Positive and Negative Effects Schedule, uh, Back Depression Inventory, and 5% Mindfulness Questionnaire that were used in the study. So the college student's stress can be managed through mindfulness training instead of the dog therapy and the no treatment group. As a result, the researchers suggested implementing this in college campuses. So, but there were limitations, of course, in any other studies, other studies, breathing technique, which was not accurately measured. They lost some of their heart rate variability data to record when they lost the electrodes and significant artifacts. At the end of the study, not everybody was assessed, evaluated. They did not get a pre one, but just the post-intervention heart rate variability results. So overall, the impact of mindfulness meditation not significant when compared to the dog therapy group and the no treatment group, although they noticed that the students appreciated more of their self and they are more aware of the present moment resulting in stress reduction. The second article uh, by Lima et al. in 2019, it was a six-week pilot program that consisted of a 60-minute vinyasa flow yoga, which is a form of yoga class once weekly, uh, followed by guided meditation. So their goal is to demonstrate a quality of life free of stress or eliminate stress by reducing symptoms of headaches, anxiety, and depression. The study um, had 17 pharmacy students in a university uh, ranging from 19 and 23 years of age, they were given questionnaires and asked to evaluate their stress, anxiety, and mindfulness skill strategy. They wanted to incorporate yoga to meditation in order to achieve this full effect of awareness and relieve stress physically, physiologically, and emotionally. So the questionnaire provided to evaluate the students, um, I will include at the end of the vlog, using the Beck Anxiety Inventory, Perceived Stress Scale, and the Five Facet mindfulness questionnaire um, that were used in the study. Then they used uh, some kind of a test using uh, software to evaluate their data and they found that anxiety and stress decreased while the total mindfulness scores increased. And then the article focused on just the effects of mindfulness meditation without the yoga components. So they formulated the study with the concept of stress anxiety and mindfulness, a yoga and meditation assessment. Then they conducted this 90-minute yoga combined with meditation at the university um, during the last six weeks of the semester. So overall, the study had a positive result on their intervention that led to home-based practices using mindfulness application that may also uh, provide long-term treatment in daily practice and lend a more realistic evaluation of the student practice time. Meditation can be implemented anytime, however long the person needs it to be. Any policies that support uh, meditation? Well, some insurance seems to cover it. Cigna, Aetna, Blue Shield, TRICARE, although very limited. Um, Out-of-pocket expenses, is, um, there's a substantial amount. Out-of-pocket health care costs and are comparable to out-of-pocket costs for conventional physician services and prescription drug use. The current trend, however, it continues is that people do use it over 46 million, 19% of the adult, civilian, non-institutionalized U.S. population practice some type of meditation for three main factors of chronic disease, pain, anxiety, depression, and sleeping problems, cost or access barriers to conventional medicine, and of course, characteristics of their age. Well, ideas to consider uh, meditation needs to be implemented in clinics and or hospitals, Holistic management on adolescent stress should center around calming the mind and relieving stress. So for adolescents, you should always uh, mention that during clinic visits. And by applying the competencies of holistic care, of evaluating the situation and our problem, it will identify issues of what the adolescent is going through without getting prescription uh, medication. So diagnosing, planning, intervening, coordinating care, health teaching, and health prompts, consultation, education, 
health promotion, consultation, education, collaborating, and reaching out to the community will help with adolescent stress. Having a multi-interdisciplinary -inter team also be involved with adolescent care, like therapists, holistic nurse, psychologists, encourages an effective team approach when dealing with current stress. I mean, overall, meditation decreases the body's sympathetic response to stress by relaxing every muscle of the body. It affects the brain's ever-changing degree of mindfulness. It focuses, hones into specific purpose from within the inner self, of course, without the social media, resulting in shaping the brain to manifest a mantra or purpose and results in good health or balanced life. The dynamic pattern of white matter changing involving the anterior cingulate cortex, a part of the brain network related to self-regulation, especially during the teenage years, could provide a means for intervention to improve or prevent mental disorders. Uh, mind and body need healing guidance. The goal was to eliminate or enhance conventional medicine, heal the mind of vit or for vitality. Humanity needs to be saved by investing in your body, taking care of it, and accomplishing the need to prevent chronic illness, chronic diseases. Well, thank you. Hope this helps. See you in the next adventure. If you are stressed, please call or let someone know in your family or talk to your provider and reach out and seek other therapies um, if prescription medicine is not your, is if you don't prefer the medicine, the conventional medicine, there are complementary therapies out there available for you. So these are just all my appendices that I mentioned are uh, used in the studies. Thank you so much. Somehow you're testing the fall love, fall love